So many shifts in momentum and ups and downs in the playoffs that it's uh, it's important to uh, you know if the game's not going your way or the other team gets a couple shifts in your end that when you get back out there that you know your job is to you know try to shift that momentum back in your favor and I you know I think uh, we did a pretty good job of that in the first series and we'll try to continue that in the, the next round here. How important is it to when you face a good offense like Manchester has to kind of use yeah. that style of play to disrupt their offense? Yeah, they have they're high end skilled team and they have a. You know, a lot of good players on the you know, front end, back end. It's, uh, it'll be very important to uh, you know bring the same style of play uh, you know that we that we had in the Syracuse series and and bring that to uh, the second round against Manchester. And you know, and and you know we like to toe that line of uh, you know that, that that line we've talked about before. They're you know agitating and doing that thing as well. And uh, you know we'll see uh, you know how the series goes and we'll uh, you know we'll. we'll We'll bring what we bring. One last thing for you. They have uh, the AHL MVP. Did you face him in college? Yeah, I played against uh, O'Neill for four years in college, and he was kind of a pain in the butt for us. But uh, uh, they, uh, he's a good player, obviously. And uh, you can see, like, in his third year pro, he's finally really come out. And, you know, he had, I think, 70-something points this year. It was 80, 80 points. I mean, that's just impressive. But he was always such a good player in college. I'm not surprised.